hello and welcome back to my channel i am abigail and today i am testing out the azure marker 40 piece set i have tested these this brand out before there i tried the 13 piece one you can go find that video if you'd like it is only a couple videos back, I'm pretty sure. So first impressions, this set was pr looking pretty fucking lit. If I do say so myself, I was very impressed with the, you know, more uh, skin tone like colors, at least in the lighter tones, the darker ones. The, it could use some more mid like skin tones, but overall for how cheap these markers are, were, I was pretty fucking impressed. So here I am rapidly swatching all 40 because it's, I think the swatching is fun to watch and, and it's just satisfying. They're so cool. And uh, I just, yeah, like that green was so bright. There was the blue number four and the flesh tone 11. I just, ooh, they were, it was, I was impressed. And like I said, I've talked a lot about that, but they blended so smoothly on this paper like they laid down so flat they were nice and juicy and this is express it blending card um i'm not exactly sure you can buy it i think you can buy it on amazon i don't know this was gifted to me for christmas but i wanted to make sure i tested it on this paper because this is the paper that i printed out the line art for so i did ink everything kind of off screen because I knew I wanted to focus on seeing the markers and how the markers related to one another. And so, yes, I you skip the sketching part, but it's cool. I had a great time and it looked, turned out really great actually. So there was a lot of reds as you can see, which they call one violet, that one, that was my favorite, that last purple, shit, that was great. And here I am testing out some trying to make some skin tones again, whatnot. It's fun. I loved the flesh tone. I loved that violet. There's so many reds, like there's like red 10, violet 10, red nine, red six. Um, There wasn't a lot of differentiation between them. They were very, very similar. And that happened like a couple times. Like um, the, it, I know they look a lot more different on screen, but like the pink 13 and the pink 18, they're just very, like this very similar tones and uh, like yeah the browns i loved like the not super saturated brown but that did make it hard for you know yeah, that's a hard thing for skin tone because i feel like when it comes to skin you know your skin is either saturated with you know kind of a red violety kind of tone or with like yellows and or oranges something like that so there is my beautiful line art originally the design came from i have this series where i have drew there i called them like my elemental designs and it was a long time ago for like sketching i just randomly came up with this like four kingdoms ruled by different families of magic and they each you know had like a certain element and i was starting to like break them down into like subcategories there was like the four main types of magic and then the like ones like kind of directly under that there were some different kinds that split between different families and i had drawn earth and i had thought like i was trying to go for a little bit of a different earth vibe more focused on like riches so like crystals and i just wasn't happy with it i tried to give her like a strong like silhouette and it just she just looked too bulky and i just she just didn't have the same like flow as the other ones did so i was intending for this to kind of follow that so i was trying to make it seem like you know like she was like her magic is like crystals and stuff like whatnot um, the original OC was, did have darker skin, but for the sake of this video, I did give her lighter skin because I did do darker skin with these markers in my last video. And because this one had so many, like so many different colors, I wanted to test these out, but I don't know if you can tell, but the skin looks pretty good. If I do say so myself, that purple in the shadows, it's like, it was, it, I don't know, it just looks great. Sometimes when 
you use markers that you don't use all the time, it can feel very freeing almost. Like you can really see your own style and like coloring come through. And the way these layered was so fun. I just, I loved doing her skin. The thing that did trip me up about these though is I have trouble picking colors because the original color design for the character similar to this was purples and browns. They did not go together as well as I thought they were going to. So I had trouble picking the colors, it just... But back to the skin. This was fun. They're very back and forth though. If you purchase these, keep in mind that you want to make sure that you have a marker paper and if it's like a thinner paper make sure you have something underneath it because they will bleed through they're very juicy and from what i noticed they they do blend well but you have to be careful because some colors they really kind of almost repel each other they very much so push the colors away and you kind of have to be patient and do a lot of back and forth and back and forth to get exactly what it is that you want which is, it can get a little tedious because like some colors layer very well, like the pink in the skin tone layered very nicely, but you put that purple in there and it added a great dimension to the shadows, but the purple was really bad at pushing away the skin tone. So then you had to go back in with the skin tone a little bit to make it look more like skin because the purple pushed away the skin tone and then it actually ended up looking lighter instead of darker in the shadows. So. It is what it is there. So now I am coloring her legs and you can see kind of my style. I was kind of mixing it up with what I laid down first on the face. I laid down the face color and then the little, like her blush with the legs. I tried laying down the blush first. I I didn't really notice a difference, but um, I, I mean, the blush was a little less intense. I also did on her face go over it more times than I did before, but. And now if you want to know something about me, I hate chisel nibs. Like I, that is the one thing that I don't, I don't like using them, but this one, they were, it was just so juicy that like to cover this bigger space was just, it was very much needed. And here I am doing the shadows on the links, which was like my favorite part, just added just so much dimension to it. And so I started with the purple and then I go in with a really saturated brown and then blend it out with the skin tone. And that I think is, in my opinion, has been the best way that I've been able to create realistic looking shadows in depth, is you pick your kind of lavendery, or if you're doing a warm shadow, whatever color it is you're using for your shading, and then you use a more saturated version of like the skin tone. So like in, if a lighter skin tone, it'd be more of like a, like an orange, like a, like a light orange. And then you blend back and forth between those three colors. And here I did a lot of that. I didn't show the second leg because like I said, it was a lot of back and forth. So I just decided to skip ahead a little bit, save you guys the pain that I felt. So now here I was thinking about the colors and I saw those colors right there lined up that pink through the blue. And I was like, that's it. Those are beautiful. I want to see those all mixed together. So then I got started on the hair and the colors came out well i'd have to say um i didn't like do a lot of like color planning before i picked these i just kind of i just kind of winged it and i do wish i picked a different brown for her hair because i didn't want to use the brown that was kind of in the the lineup the sienna i do wish that i would have either just straight up used that brown or went even darker and say used like the brown 11 to just i love i do love the kind of like color on color on color look of like where like the hair skin and clothes or like hair skin and eyes are all like similar like colors i kind of like that it's fun but i just this brown fell out of place then once i put the rest of the colors in and i could tell so i went back in with that sienna color to try to make it a little kind of warm it up a little bit it was kind of a it was kind of meh that brown i don't know how to describe it just it didn't have a lot of life to it so 
And then I left like the little white highlight bits. I colored in that flesh tone pink. I like doing that sometimes when um, not leaving like white for the highlights, but then coloring it with like a fun color like pink or orange or even blue. I was going warmer. The blue actually would have been cool if I used that dark brown. That would have been fun. Note to self for next time. And with this one too, I wanted to use like fun colors, but also like have them go together, I guess. Um, sometimes I fall into a trap of using like a bunch of muted tones and I never like branch out and do fun colors. That happens a lot. I used to use colors too much and now I get kind of weary of it. Like I don't want to like, oh God, is it going to look like a 10 year old did this? Because it, you know. It's just color on color on color, but this is fun. I loved this pink. And so because these aren't brush nibs and there's not a whole lot of color, I use this almost like a color blocking way of shading. So I leave some white highlights and I color in everything else. And I go over it a couple times to make sure it's like as even as I can get it. And then I use the way lighter color and I just fill in those little gaps. And it's kind of a fun way to show like the dress is almost shiny and then this is where i wish i would have taken a little more time i thought this would look kind of fun ombre starbursty colored but i it didn't read as well as i thought it was going to i should have taken more time to color individually the little spires the little spokes and stuff i think it would make them look and feel a little more crystal like versus just kind of doing it like an ombre cut like yeah and these two colors the flesh pink and the blue didn't actually mix to create a purple so then I go and I add the purple in myself but I just then it felt like it was too dark I just yeah see and then it's I had to go blend them all out and then it was darker than I wanted it to be and it just ended up being a whole big mess but that's okay you know what we do art to learn nobody's perfect and the more you do things though the better you get the more lessons you learn you're never going to learn how and where to put colors and what to use when and all that stuff if you never experiment with colors and then i introduced the sienna which the sienna this pink is just i liked it a lot but like i said it would i think it would have been better if I just like straight used that on the hair or the darker brown. I don't know. Her hair feels muddier to me than I'd like it to be. But I used the blue for all the little tiny details and stuff. And it was fun. Like I just, ugh, those little booties. I do not own anything like that. But I would like to. I don't wear heels that much because I'm actually quite tall. And I don't like towering over everybody. I don't know not my cup of tea i feel i don't want to feel like a giant all the time but it is what it is uh i have been really into the little dangly bits on her dress has been like kind of my thing lately i have been trying to really push myself to add a lot of detail to my more recent artworks and stuff which would be this um I did leave it so I sketched and inked this on my iPad which is where the rest of the elemental OCs are and I printed this out but I did wanted to make sure that it wasn't too detailed because I knew I was coloring it in markers and I wanted to make sure that I could realistically color it in markers you know because sometimes you just if there's too much detail for it to be on this scale like relatively small it couldn't handle more detail than it has or at least much more detail so i think if i ever draw her again like on the ipad with the others she'll probably be a little more detailed but i liked so her design was supposed to be kind of strong and angular like crystals and so i gave her the strong shoulders like the dress is almost like stiff you can tell and i gave her like the platform boots which i feel like is like very strong cemented to the ground you know versus like a little heel and then she has the crown even though the earth oc wasn't she wasn't one of the top four families ironically yes they were not 
the same as what you might think they were death like death magic water fire and like plants like healing so yeah uh this blue i debated like leaving it kind of like this and trying to use the colorless blender to make it lighter but then i just thought against it i would didn't colorless blenders never seem to work as well as you think they're gonna at least in my opinion so i was like i'm not gonna mess around with that and i didn't want to break out any like colored pencils or anything because i wanted this to be strictly in these markers so i just went ahead and colored it all blue so but um in reality this would be a very like light fluttery blue although it would look kind of nice heavy as well but i don't know maybe it'd be prettier and like more iridescent as if like color shifting would have been fun but yes so i wanted to flashback kind of just more wrapping up these markers i bought them at walmart they're called azure markers there are a few smaller packs this was the biggest pack i've seen in its 40 pieces the 13 piece is inside of this like every single one of them so if you think you're gonna want the 40 piece one just go for that i think it was like 30 ish bucks so it comes to less than a dollar for each marker which i think is a pretty spanking deal if i do say so myself um i will link them on the line in the description because i want you to make sure you can find them i found them in person at um, a Walmart in the city over. I don't know where else you can find them. I've never seen this brand anywhere but Walmart so far, but I don't know. Keep your eye out. I love testing out new art materials, especially if they're kind of like Copic dupes. That's always so fun, like testing out different kinds of markers and stuff to try to replicate the way that I color with Copics because I am 23 right now and I've been using Copics since I was like 15. So I didn't really use anything else. I kind of went right for the Copic. I went right for the, right for the big bad boys. So I didn't, didn't have a lot of the in-between time, but I gave her these beautiful blue eyes. I just think that aqua color just pops. And I gave her little pink lips. I thought it was fun. Um, that sienna color, I liked it on the paper. It didn't, I don't know, the boots, maybe it could have been a different color i don't know what color it would have been but i didn't like kind of the blue on blue with the cape and then the heel of the boot and then the sienna boot it was okay but it's it, it could have been better but everything can be better i said that already so anyway i am going to let the video play for a little bit and i will pop back in for the last few seconds to talk about the completed piece And by the way, the pen I am using is a Jelly Roll white gel pen. Just letting you know. All of my materials are listed below. Okay, as the piece finishes out, I wanted to thank you for watching if you made it this far if you liked if you liked what i did please like the video comment maybe subscribe if you want to see more artwork similar to mine all of my socials are linked below and i hope that you have a fantastic day and i do highly recommend these markers especially for beginners or people who want to maybe a little break from their copics if they're feeling pressure they're kind of fun and the colors are bright which make you have to be out of your comfort zone. So I hope you have a great day. And here is the finished piece. Stay safe. Have a great week. Bye.